Today, my friends, we are looking at Fix That Fail, and in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at two different base designs being hit, one with Hybrid and another with Electron as those three-star attempts, but what are going to be the fails and how you guys can fix them? Let's find out in this video. So, in this episode of Fix That Fail, we're going to be looking at two different base designs within this one, and we're going to just break down the four attacks, two of which are going to be fails, and two of which are going to be three stars. Of course, on different base designs, but the biggest thing I want you guys to understand is those small changes to the attack. Not so much on hero level or anything, but more specifically on how the attack was done. So, this one is hybrid. We're starting off with hybrid. It's really, really common right now. The biggest thing, though, is this is going to determine on how you actually do your queen charge. So, is your queen charge going to go really short and get value up to something such as here? Or is your queen charge going to go a little bit deeper into the base, like right here? So this was one of the issues with this attack. So when we watch it, I want you guys to see really what the attacker did wrong. And I'll explain that in that moment. But still, this was a really solid attack, a 95% two-star on this base. But it just wasn't enough to get the triple. So one of the biggest things that you need to sort of take away from something like this is just really taking your time on looking at the base and scouting it. Now, this base was hit twice, it was tw it was tripled on the second attempt, with the s roughly the same army composition, and we'll be looking at that next. The biggest thing here is, you'll see, we're dropping off with the baby dragon up at the top. It it's looking very good right now. We send in our king, he's going to get some value here, but you'll notice that, so what he's doing is he's creating the funnel down this way for the queen. He's not placing his in his healers just yet, up until the king dies out. Now, you'll see here, we're going to drop our jump spell on top of the eagle. This is going to be the issue, and I will pause it right here. Because of this, notice that we're only getting value up until around these compartments here. We're not going to go anywhere deeper because we just don't have enough firepower to go through. We don't have enough. We only have like two other rage spells, and one's already being used. So the biggest thing here is that we're not doing a longer charge. If we were, then we would actually go for this bottom multi-inferno. There's no way, because if we clear this, it's going to force a lot of our miners and hogs to sort of go onto the outside later on, and we're not going to have enough firepower. So if we're dealing with that multi-inferno first, and even still getting the eagle, that's going to help us a lot. So you're going to see the reason to why this attack failed, and it's all because... This multi-inferno stays alive. So as we kind of watch this through, we're dealing with the enemy queen. We will deal with the enemy CC. So you'll see it's a baby or a dragon and an ice golem. But the queen will have to either burn a rage, pop her ability, or something like that. See, it's going to have to pop the ability. Instead of using the rage a little bit earlier on since he knew that he was going up against it, it should have been done a little bit quicker, but not too bad. But well, you'll see here that we are creating the funnel from this side, and now this allows us to sort of use our miners and our hog riders. Now, this definitely is still going to work. We got 95% two starts. Not terrible. You'll see that what we're doing is we are still getting some sort of value. Here's another issue. Notice the healer's getting picked off by that air defense. Without that air defense going down, he really can't do too much. That queen's not going to survive the rest of the raid, and that's the issue. I would say that this strategy does rely on that queen just a little bit. So you want to make sure that you are getting the most amount of value from her. And this being said, you can see that she does die out. Grand Warren pops his ability, which is still going to be completely fine. So he's working his way through. There's nothing wrong with this section. The only issue is he just didn't have enough firepower to get through the rest of the base, including the multi-inferno. As you'll see here... There's too many defenses around that multi-inferno that are just too tempting for the troops to go for. So that multi-inferno will stay up and that will allow his miners and his hog right or his miners to just get completely shut down. So you'll see right here, even though it definitely looks like he has enough miners, he just will he just won't be able to because everything is going around the base and nothing is going towards that compartment. So he does kind of lose most to all of his miners from that. 
but he also kind of runs out of time too. So definitely it was a nice attempt here, but wasn't really able to get it done. You can see the miners do die off, but you can see the reason to why this attack failed all because of that multi inferno. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the three star attempt we're using roughly the same army composition, maybe give or take miners and hogs, but we're going to be looking at a longer charge this time. Now we're going to look at the three star that did triple the space. You can see it's roughly the same strategy, minus a couple miners and adding at least one hog rider. But what we're going to see in this attack is we are going to be seeing three rage spells being used. We're still using the jump and we've got two, only two heal spells. So he's making an effort to try and allow his queen to stay alive for longer. Now, the biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this is notice how he was able to fix what the other attacker did wrong, which was, you know, getting this down. That's a big thing to take out. So you will notice that slight difference. It, even though it's very, very slight, you can still tell it makes a big difference in this attack. That is why scout attacks are always really good. Even if you fail, which is not you know, if an attack goes doesn't go to plan and you end up getting a two-star, then you're giving information that is really going to help your clan mate attack that base and be able to work on it better. So with that being said, of course, I, I think that you guys can take something away from this. Like in this example here, you'll see, let's, let's focus in on the queen. He's doing the same thing. He's dropping in the king. He's getting the same value, maybe minus that Tesla. But you'll see that what he's doing is he's working his queen in and notice that he's not going for the eagle yet. He's going to work his way down this way and because that Tesla was still up, he's able to target onto the air defense and because this mortar is the other last building there before she steps up and deals with the CC and queen, that's when you know when the attacker knows that he has to drop in a rage to deal with both of them. Now notice that he's now going into this section. He's not jumping in here. He's now having access to both the multi inferno and the eagle at the same time That's really really good value there and that's what you're looking for So the fix of this fail was just this charge going in a little bit deeper not not ending here But instead ending here that way he's able to clear that multi inferno which was gonna be a pesky problem and probably wouldn't have gotten into three star if he did the same thing. And instead he decided to go down there and he was able to use really roughly how well, how the rest of the attack went. So very, very simple. And that's how he was able to easily get, get rid of this. But I think this gives you guys sort of that understanding of how this attack strategy can be done. A nice fix there. So if you're seeing that... Maybe there's an, an opening where you can get a multi-inferno and an eagle. That's actually some really good value. I would say more often than not, that's what you should be looking for at Town Hall 11. You should be looking to get a multi-inferno and the eagle. Now, this is where, you know, you could probably use something such as a Yeti bomb and also a queen charge. That's going to be up to you. I would definitely say if you're, if you're going to plan on doing that, if you're planning on doing that, then I would say that's definitely a viable way of doing so. So you'll see that what we're doing is we are we're allowing our queen to sort of get through a good chunk of the base. We're gonna pop her ability there. We even pop the Grand Warren's ability, but you'll see the heal spells are being placed really nicely, just like the last one. Very, very simple attack. It's the same thing, but notice that now we don't even have to worry about this bottom section here. That's how this attack was fixed up. That's really the reason to why this attack was a triple. So that kind of gives you guys a really solid look into the hybrid, how this base was sort of hit by the fresh, and then how it was three-starred. So you definitely can tell there was a very minor difference. Now, let's go and take a look at the next base design that we're going to have here for you guys. Now we have the second base design here for you guys, and the thing we're looking at here is again minor hog hybrid. However, this attack is not going to go to plan. He has wall breakers, but he is going to funnel fail, and that is what is going to cost him this entire attack. Not just that, but he's also going to be doing uh, a really, I wouldn't say it's a terrible deployment, but it was definitely off, and I think he could have done a little bit better on it. So definitely, you know, him not being able to charge into the 
uh, ego compartment and getting rid of that is definitely a huge problem. And also with that being said, as well as the multi infernos and those things are a little bit further away and they're definitely going to cause a bit of problems. So in this example, we're going to show you guys the reason to why this attack sort of, you know, fell off. But you'll see that what we're going to be starting off with is the funnel. The only issue, though, is we used the baby dragon a little early. You'll see that we actually used it when the air defense was still up instead of the other way around. We take out the air defense and then we drop in the baby dragon. Even though we would have to wait a little bit, it would give us a little bit more value because it, if we placed it here, it would go for this Tesla and it would take it out. So that's really the biggest reason to why I believe that this attack sort of, you know, kind of fell off the rails. Because you'll see that even though they just barely didn't open it, even though that's fine, the funnel failed here because of the Tesla. Those hog riders weren't enough. He should have used three at least. And he kind of used his king up here, kind of hoping that if his queen charged in here, she would clear this one. Uh, he's maybe using the siege bark there would clear that. And then he could send his miners this direction. That wasn't the case here. So you'll see that he's going to just move his queen down. And he has to go into a plan B phase of dropping in the uh, dropping in the siege barracks down at, tw at, at 6 o'clock. And you'll see that now that he's been able to sort of get the, the one star, he's going to be able to drop in his miners. Some of those miners are going to move on to here. The deployment's all right, but definitely a lot of those miners do split off. So you'll see that a large majority of them, because this side of the funnel is not cleared out enough, a lot of them are going to split. And that means that he is going to have to deal with both of them. He does not have an ability. He had to pop it with the against the king, so he couldn't use that rage spell in time. So you'll see that now he's going to have to force the ability right around here. And he's actually going to he's going to move in with the with the wizards and the pekkas and stuff. You'll see just not getting enough value from his Grand Warden either. Just going to sort of thin out there. And it was still, again, it was not a bad attack, but it was definitely a minor fix. I, I definitely, as far as I can say, he just really didn't get it right. The base could definitely still work with an attack like this. I think the only issue, though, was that it definitely, you know, it wasn't going to allow him to get enough value, especially with the Tesla being there. So it was definitely a little bit harder for him to do so, but still he was going to be able to get a nice scout for this one, knowing that there's a troll Tesla there. So just these first couple, these, these first attacks definitely will sort of help you scout the base. Where are the traps? Where are the Teslas? That is going to determine on how this attack will be done for a three star. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the three star on this base design. Now we're taking a look at the three star and we're seeing something a little bit different it is not hybrid. Instead, it is going to be Electron. You may be wondering to why exactly we decided to, you know, instead of using a another hybrid and kind of fixing that, why are we using an Electron? Well, the attackers saw that for one, these air sweepers are not going to be in the way if he uses a stone slammer. The blimp could have been an option too if he decided to, you know, use it maybe around here. It would path maybe around, let's see, the tunnel's right there. So it would probably path this way, which is still going to get him some decent value. And I would say that that's definitely still really good. But if we take a look at the value that we can get with a C or with a stone slammer, if we clear these buildings out with the queen, then we'll easily get to the multi inferno, take that out, get to the air sweeper here, and then that pops right next to the queen. That's actually really simple and it's going to allow us to get a lot of good value from that section. So what we're doing is we're we're using the electron against this compartment here. What this allows us now to do, actually it's going to get us a little bit more. It's going to probably get us up until around here, which is all going to be really good as it's going to be able to basically clear up that entire section. So that is going to be the thing that you want to kind of take a look at. Is there a little bit more value on a different attack that can get you more value? Or would you rather use the same attack? This is where, you know, you kind of want to think about it. So the attacker here said, do you know what? I'm not going to do hybrid. I think it's a little bit too risky on this base. I don't think that it's a good base for it. And instead, I'm going to go ahead and use an electron. And I think the reason to why is notice how com com compact 
that's what I was trying to say, compact the entire base design is in some way. So that's where the Stone Slimer is going to get some good usage and even the Electrum. So with that out of the way, we can now kind of get you guys into the understanding. So he was able to fix this attack, not because of, you know, what he did, but he decided to change it up because he felt that this attack wasn't, that hybrid was not going to work. He wasn't, because he knew that there was a Tesla here, and he knew that there was a Tesla here. So what he wanted to do is, instead of, you know, making sure they can use extra troops to funnel this out, why not get rid of this multi-inferno and just use an entirely different attack? So, so what you'll see from here is that he's going to work his way, he's going to work his queen just to get some extra value here with the Sui hero. So he's getting a lot of good value there. And with that being said, he's also going to pull up traps like the Red Air Bomb. And then what he's going to do is he's going to drop that balloon. He's going to try to soak up any Seeking Air Mines if they're on the outside. It's all right if they're on the inside, especially if they're right by the Queen. So you'll see that he's going to drop his Rage pretty early. Seeking Air Mine is found. Once his once that Electro Dragon's taken out, balloons are going to basically, you know, explode out. And the Electro Dragon is going to be able to take off the enemy Queen. Ne or, you know, take out the enemy Queen. Now, the thing here is you'll see with the Lava Loon portion, and he's, is, he's dropping in a couple loons here. What he's also trying to do is tank for as many defenses around there. So you'll see, you have the Lava Hound. It's going to be going to the air defense. So the air defense is already going to be hitting on it. But you also got the Expo, the uh, Tesla, the Archer Tower, this uh, Wizard Tower, possibly the Expo, but I don't think so. So there's a lot of good value here, and I do believe that it could also be the Eagle as well. So there's some good value here that you're going to see that this Hound tanks for, including the Eagle. And two Wizard Towers, that's really, really good value for just using that Lava Hound. You'll, so you'll see that as we're going through, there's actually a lot of good value for our Hounds to tank from. A lot of buildings that could, or a lot of those defensive buildings that could hit air that our Hounds can tank for. And that's going to get us a lot of really, really good value, including the Multi-Inferno right there. It's still allowing us to sort of get through that. Then we're going to use the Grand Warren's ability on the back end, and that's going to be able to completely wipe out the rest of this base. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys sort of understood this attack or, you know, this entire video. I think that this was a really great video for you guys to sort of, you know, understand and sort of take away some tips from. Of course, every, ba <clears throat> every base is going to be different. But I think the thing that's sort of take away from this is how these attackers fixed them. And maybe if they, you know, switch to an entirely different attack that worked a lot better. Or if there was a small change in the base that they could. So let me know in the comments below if you guys actually enjoy this type of video or these type of videos. Really let me know. I think uh, beforehand I saw a lot of you guys really you guys really wanted to see it so definitely let me know in the comments below whether you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys are learning from it also let me know any criticisms that you may have good or bad on this entire video because this is a new series and i want you guys to sort of you know kind of help me see whether or not you guys want to see more of this so feel free to also leave a like because that can help me you know determine on whether or not i should be doing it more so also go ahead and join my community discord and follow me on twitter twitch and also Instagram, all the links are in the description along with my header, which is going to be on the overlay that, that you see right around over here. Also, feel free to go ahead and join any of the clans I'm covering. Join their discords within the description. Everything is there. And make sure, guys, that, well, you don't forget to subscribe to join the Corrupt Fam. But with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Corrupt, signing out.